this is John for RevMedics. Today we're going to go over the features of the RevMedics multitask training mannequin. The multitask training mannequin was designed to train with the extent hemostatic applicators, tourniquets, junctional devices, and wound pack materials. Wound packing and tourniquet application are perishable skills. You must practice regularly to develop good muscle memory. This mannequin is made with a durable yet realistic industrial silicone. Designed to endure repetitive daily training, it can be a valuable part of any crawl, walk, run training program. The key features of the multitask training mannequin are its realistic entry and exit wounds, synthetic arteries for simulated bleeding, an internal cylinder system for easy removal of extat sponges, and a convenient storage compartment. The mannequin has three realistic penetrating injuries to choose from. A narrow entrance pelvic wound. These types of wounds are difficult to pack and may not have an exit wound, commonly caused by small caliber handguns, shrapnel, and stabbings. A large pelvic exit wound. These type of wounds are typically caused by high velocity projectiles, such as a large caliber rifle, that pass through the body and require extensive packing, and a mid-thigh wound designed for wound packing, applying pressure dressings, and tourniquet application. For training convenience, all the wounds are located on the interior side of the mannequin. All the wounds include synthetic arteries, which can add realistic bleeding to each wound. The arteries are also designed to occlude blood flow when tourniquets and junctional devices are properly applied. These simulator arteries are accessed by three quick connect adapters located on the top of the mannequin. Each connector is clearly marked showing which wounds they are associated with. There are several methods you can use to simulate bleeding. You can use a pressurized fluid tank that has been adapted for training mannequins. These three gallon tanks can provide continuous high flow arterial bleeding for several minutes. Alternatively, you can use one of the provided hoses which are fitted with a standard lure lock connector that easily connect to an IV bag or 60cc syringe filled with simulated blood. This allows you to titrate the amount of bleeding you want for your training scenario. The mannequin's internal cylinder system allows you to collect and remove excess sponges that you inject into the left or right junctional wound. These are accessed by the handles on the top of the mannequin. The cylinders have an opening on one side. When in the closed position, the cylinder seals the bottom of the wound. When turned 180 degrees, it allows the sponges to drop into the cylinder for easy removal. The multitask train mannequin also comes with a storage compartment on the thigh. To open, simply grasp the handle and pull back. You can use this compartment to store extat training applicators, sponges, or other supplies. Now let's go through a simulation from start to finish. Make sure the cylinders are in the closed position prior to starting your simulation. Connect your fluid source. Here, I'm using a 60cc syringe with some simulated blood. You must first push all the air out of the line before you begin to see bleeding in the wound. As you can see, I'm waiting until I see the blood start flowing through the narrow entrance junction wound before applying the XDAT-12 applicator with blue training sponges. When you have finished training, it's time to remove the XDAT sponges from the wound. To do this, turn the corresponding cylinder to the open position so that expanded sponges will fall from the wound cavity down into the cylinder. You may need to use your finger to push any remaining sponges through the bottom of the wound and into the cylinder. Then, pull the cylinder straight out to discard the sponges. Use and removal instructions for the large exit wound are identical. The thigh wound is not attached to a cylinder, as it is designed for training on wound packing technique and tourniquet application. To utilize the mid-thigh wound, connect your simulated blood to the appropriate connector. Apply your hemorrhage control device to control bleeding. Simply pour out the fluids to empty when you finish. When you're finished training, rinse the mannequin and cylinders with water. Ensure you flush the arteries using a 60cc syringe filled with water. The cylinders have orange and black o-rings to help seal in the fluids. Before every use, ensure that the cylinder o-rings are coated with a silicone lubricant. Failure to lubricate the cylinder will increase the risk of o-ring failure. If an o-ring breaks, there are additional o-rings included in the storage compartment. Thanks for watching our product video on the RevMedics Multitask Training Mannequin. For more information, go to RevMedics.com and check us out on social media.